The University of Namibia teamed up to find ways in terms of engaging the tourism industry in Namibia and the local communities in the Erongo region. We specifically chose the Erongo region because of course it's one of our major tourism destinations in the country and we thought that Erongo region is well positioned to give us different uh, ways of how to cope with what we went through during COVID-19. This project was funded by the Corona Tourism Package from the German federal government and supported by the GSS. The overall aim of this program was to support tourism destinations to restart tourism after the pandemic, which was conducted in the Dominican Republic, in Sri Lanka and in Namibia. The pandemic that we just had, we are still in, but, but we thank God we are here where we are. Um, yeah, it hit the industry so much. In terms of the numbers of arrivals, it's about 90% decline. So completely dead, you know, that's 2020 um, through the last two years as we speak from where we are today. But again, there are many companies that some were permanently closed as we speak, they are completely closed and some closed um, temporarily. Okay, they were managed to, uh, to open up. But again, even those that had to go through, um, owners have to use their own personal savings you know, to be able to reach out, to be able to you know, take them through. A lot of jobs were lost uh, and also the industry itself. I mean, practically, I can look at our rental uh, industry for vehicles for tourism. We had about a portfolio of 8,000 vehicles in the country. Well, I think as we speak, as we started this season, we were down to 2,000 because either cars were sold or cars were repossessed or otherwise they could not maintain it. And that's how severe the, the uh, COVID uh, pandemic was to the industry. The pandemic has highlighted once again uh, how vulnerable the tourism industry is and also the need to address different risks in order to manage them and promote sustainable development. It's about uh, bringing together different stakeholders in the tourism industry uh, to be able to map a way to enhance the resilience of tourism destinations. In this case, Namibia is a tourism destination. But the question remains, how can tourism destinations identify and manage different risks, stemming, for example, from natural hazards, the pandemic, global climate change, but also social cultural conflicts? Just like any other economy, they, we are prone to some um, disasters or some risks that we need to manage. And one of them is, uh, as we know, is the climate change. Now, climate change directly or indirectly affects tourism because um, our tourism is nature based and um, our vast wildlife. And, and you can imagine if there is drought that has hit the country and how all this biodiversity and the ecosystems are affected. And how can resilience strategies and actions be identified and implemented? Studying the necessary risks and then again coming up with certain recommendations and I call them foundations, say we need to take care of this, we need to take care of that and this is how we need to take care of it so that we build a more resilient uh, tourism sector. Steps included the consultation with the stakeholders, the identification of the risks, um, the identification of the possible options for action and then the last step was to try and bring people together so that they take ownership of the possible solution so that they can, going forward, drive the process. They're working together with the private sector. For me, that's excellent because we're not going to do everything by ourselves. Given there's not enough resources in the government treasury, but also then looking at innovation or innovative ways of doing things. Uh, we, the ministry is open uh, in, in joining uh, uh, in partnership with the private sector, so to speak, to say what is that we can do together. The major output of this project is training for the tourism industry. So as the university, we developed a training manual that will be distributed to the different um, uh, tourism um, sector operators to use in order for them 
to identify those areas where they can build resilience within their companies or within the industry as a whole. And that is basically what this project is aiming at. The project has uh, several outputs. Um, one of the outputs is that we have managed to develop a flyer which gives a kind of a summary of the whole project um, and gives, you know, just to share information with our stakeholders out there. And then we also have um, a destination risk and resilience manual that has been uh, developed by the team. And it includes all the risks that Namibia faces in terms of a tourism destination um, and uh, how we can build resilience in that. And then we have also developed a training of trainers manual. So this manual can be used for those who would want to train others to build resilience, but also to get informed on the risks that Namibia faces as a tourism destination. You can actually employ more people in tourism, even those who don't have much of your degree qualification and so on. Because your employment could start from a cleaner, a handyman, a gardener, and so forth and so on. Uh, so you could just use tourism really to employ a lot of our young people and, and help us reduce the unemployment rate in, in Namibia. So again, both for employment, um, the last uh, figures, uh, it contributes about over to over 100,000 you know, jobs that we have. So if you were to raise it up or increase the number of visitors that are coming in, you're basically now raising the number of employment that you can create as well as the foreign earnings of forex that you can earn in the country and, and many other benefits that come you know, through you know, tourism economy.